Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying and dividing integers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, we have here the third and fourth operation on integers. And that is multiplying and dividing integers. So ginawa kong dito, pinagsama ko na lang yung lesson natin because they have the same rules. At kailangan nyo natandaan. So what are the rules in multiplying and dividing integers? So here are the rules. You have the same signs and different signs. So let's focus on the same signs. If you will multiply two integers with positive signs, let's say for example, positive times positive, it will give you the product of positive. And if you multiply two negative integers, they are same signs, it will give you the product of positive. And if you divide two integers with positive signs, it will give you the quotient of a positive integer. And lastly, if you divide two negative integers, again, two negative integers, it will give you the quotient of positive integer. That is for the same signs. And now, what about, sir, if they have different signs? Here are the possibilities. The possibilities are, if you multiply a positive and negative integer, it will give you a negative product. If you multiply a negative and a positive integer, it will give you a negative product again. And if you divide a positive integer and a negative integer, it will give you the quotient of negative integer. And lastly, if you divide a negative and a positive integer, it will give you a negative integer. So basically, to summarize our rules, if the signs, if the two integers has the same signs, meaning though it is multiplication and dividing, you can get a positive answer. And if you multiply or divide integers, two, uh, two integers with different signs, automatically you can get the product and the quotient of a negative integer. So let's have these examples for you to visualize more about multiplying and dividing integers. So let's move with item number one. We have negative 24 times negative 2. As you can see, the first integer is negative and the, first, the second integer is also a negative integer. Therefore, your answer is a positive integer. And multiplying 24 times 2, it will give you 40. So the answer here is positive 48 or simply 48, okay, for item number 1. And let's move on with item number 2. We have negative 5 times 3. So you need to examine what are the signs of these integers. Are they the same or are they different? This one is negative 5 and this one is positive 3. Therefore, if they are different in terms of sign, your product here is negative. And multiplying 5 and 3, this will give you 15. Therefore, the answer in number 2 is negative 15. Okay? So you can pause the video and you can try item number 3. You can pause the video and let's have your understanding about the rules. Now, for item number 3, you have 16 times negative 5. The two integers has the same, ah, they have different signs, rather. One is, neg one is positive and one is negative. So the product here is negative. And 16 times 5, it will give you negative 80. This is the answer or the product for item number 3. Now let's move on with item number 5. So with item number 5, you have here negative 30 times negative 10. As you can see, parehas yung sign nila. They have, different, they have the same signs. Meaning, your answer here is positive. And 30 times 10, it will give you 300. This is your answer number 5. Now, let's move on with item number 5. So for item number 5, I gave you 3 different integers, which is 6 times negative 5 times negative 2. So basically, uh, in my case, since I am familiar with multiplying integers, I can mentally do that. But for 
the sake of this tutorial, I will show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do it. So basically, if you multiply 6 and negative 5, since they have different signs, this will give you negative 30. I will take it 2 by 2. So 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. And then you still have 30 times negative 2. So 30, negative 30 times negative 2, as you can see, this is negative 30 and this is negative 2. They have the same signs. So your answer here is simply positive. So your answer is positive. So if your answer is positive, simply multiply 30 and 2, it will give you 60. Therefore, the answer in item number 5 is simply positive 60. So I hope that the first five examples natin, you already know how to multiply integers. Now let's move on with item number 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, which focuses on dividing integers. So for item number 6, we have 20 divided by 5. So basically, um, the numbers are positive, or in other words, they have the same sign, which is positive. So you will just divide these numbers, and you can get a positive answer because same signs. So the answer here is positive 4. Now let's move on with item number 7. For item number 7, you have 20 divided by negative 5. 20 is positive and 5 is negative. Therefore, they have different signs. According to our rules, if you divide integers with different signs, automatically it will give you a negative quotient. So the answer is negative and 20 divided by 5. That is simply Four. So your answer here is negative 4. So let's move on with item number 8. For item number 8, you have negative 25 divided by negative, sorry, negative 125 divided by negative 25. So examining these examples, this is negative and this is also negative. So the rules, if they have the, if they have the same signs, negative and negative, you can get the quotient of positive. So the answer here is simply positive 5. So that is the answer for item number 8. Now for item number 9, you have 180 divided by negative 90. So this is positive and this is negative. So applying the rule if they have different signs, if you divide integers with different signs, therefore you can get the answer of negative and 180 divided by 90, it will give you 2. So the answer is negative 2. And lastly, for number 10, you have negative 1 divided by negative 1. They have the same signs. And look at if we visit our sign, our, our rules in dividing integers with the same sign like negative divided by negative, the answer is positive. So you have the positive answer and, neg and 1 divided by 1, it will give you a positive one so I hope you learned something from this tutorial video starting for from the rules of multiplying and dividing integers if you have the same signs if the integers if the two integers has the same signs automatic you can get the product and quotient of a positive answer and if you have different signs in multiplying or dividing two integers you can get the product or quotient of a negative answer. So again, my prayer is that you can learn. I hope you can learn from this video. And if you want to request a topic that you want me to discuss in this channel, you can comment down below the topic that you wanted me to cover. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye.